Morning. Bit of a line and wash again. Uh, my bit of paper here. My, my little bit of testing paper. Right, let's put that there. Uh, I've got one of these, uh, well several actually, derwentgraphic.co. It's a bit, ooh, that let the ink out. Right, okay. Uh, do, do, I'm not really sure what I'm going to do here, but, but we'll just draw a uh, oh, sort of a barn coming right down there. We could put behind there some trees and uh, trees coming up from behind. Just a, a quickie, just one in the front here. I'll do some of these with the hate probably, but big brush watercolour, and that includes now mops, both number six. This is a squirrel mop, much more expensive than this goat hair mop, <coughs> but I'm, I really enjoyed using this one yesterday on my line and wash, so um, I uh, will persevere with it. Let's just do some more buildings behind here. Nothing too graphic or accurate. It's just old old barns. Uh, and we we'll put some water in. Let's have some we can show some reflections as well. Let's get that going down here. John Tookie-ish really, but so something like that with some distance and some background. Bit of stuff here, fields. Uh, we'll we'll make a a painting out of this. Just get some of those in there. Right. Okay. That seems to be all right. Let's have some reeds. Reflected down here. Okay, that'll do. I'll give that a dry. So take your headphones or mute your phones, etc. If you don't dry it too thoroughly, you'll, the, the first wash of water will move some of it. <coughs> Excuse me. Right, okay, using the hake, I'll wet the paper. Oh. 
let's just paint round those barns. Okay. Soaking it a little bit. Right, let's. I'll get the watercolors out. I haven't taken them out because I, I wanted them to stay a bit damp. So I'll just take them out of the stay wet with a Ziploc bag. I, I cover them with a piece of card, the, the tray with the card. That, inside so that the plastic doesn't sink down into the into the fresh paint as it has done in the past right okay so there's my palette uh, I'll, I'll do a bit of a clean now i know some of you are pleased that i've gone back to watercolors but i do split between the acrylics and watercolors because a lot of people like the acrylics as well and it's all paint so for those that Sort of take umbrage. There are over a thousand watercolour demonstrations to look at, so and I like to try different things as well, it keeps me as fresh as possible. Right, okay, so lemon yellow, raw sienna, alizarin crimson, night red, ultramarine, burnt umber, paint spray, and burnt sienna. So we'll just get a bit of bit of warm. Put some in the in the water and a bit of a bit of grey a bit of alizarin a bit of blue I'm mixing a bit of ultramarine in with that as well just a touch a bit of alizarin Repeat that in the water, although it will hardly show. Okay, uh, I'll, I'll put a little bit more depth to that, or darker colour. So a bit of, bit of ultramarine, just to show some perspective in the sky, because otherwise it just looks a little bit too flat. So. Bring that across there and just one right across. Okay, I'll reclip the paper. You don't need to stretch your paper. This is Fabriano, £130. I buy in bulk, 100 sheets at a time, for about £30 plus postage from, from Art Discount Grantham's. Great paper for this and cheap. It does the job. Right, okay, let's put in a little bit of foreground, I think. So a bit of lemon yellow. A bit of sienna. A bit of burnt sienna. Vary the uh, colours, don't keep them all the same. I'm going to put a bit of blue with that sienna. Shadow, okay, sort of autumn colours. Right, then they drive with do some nice green on on here. But there again, put in plenty of warm colours. Need a bit of water. That's the paint there is straight out of the tube, really. And into that we can put some some darker bits and pieces. We can even put some rocks. That's a good idea. Let's put some rocks in. Right, rocks. Where's the rock painter? 
where you need it. Uh-huh. It's here somewhere. There we are, that too. Right, while it's wet, just just you can just scrape out some some reeds. Look. Don't overdo it. I always do. And a little bit over here. Okay, that'll do. Right, uh, I'm going to use the uh, the mop now. And I will try to stay away from the rig as long as possible. I'm going to draw in a whole lot. So headphones off, go. That'll do. Another quick re-clip. That's it, that'll do. It keeps it nice and, well, more or less nice and flat. Right, I'm going to put in a background now. This is all very simple, simple stuff. Uh, so, nice, cold, cool grey. And then just, just sweep it over. And put other colours in there as well. So this is just like a Kent type of landscape. It's quite gentle. And we'll go in with some darker, warmer colour now. Just a bit of burnt sienna in with that. This is a beautiful brush. Tell you what it is, isn't it? It's a, a pro art renaissance mop. A high quality goat hair wash brush. But it does a lot more than wash. Um, I'm going to go into the house now. I just want to put a bit of shadow in that bank. But I want these colours a little bit on the cool side, so let that bleed up. Right, so um, a slaty blue roof. Uh, and if you don't like just the grey, you can use neutral tint. I used to use a lot of that. But I like mixing a bit of blue, ultramarine. I use ultramarine watercolour. But you use whatever colours you like. Uh, now a bit darker on the other, the other one because it's facing away from, from the light. Let's see this. A little bit of sparkle. Okay, now burnt umber is a good, good colour for. I don't use a lot of burnt umber. I don't know why? It's a lovely colour. But for these sides that are going away from us. I might leave the leading edge white <coughs> except for a bit of shadow or a bit of bit of window well uh, I might do it I might do it darker yeah let's do it darker a 
make sure make it look as if it's Get some shadow under there. Shadow there. So if I'm asking you. Look, that this is because a lovely line, isn't that? And we'll have to. When you do these sort of fences. Don't paint the whole lot, just indicate because it, it will look a bit contrived otherwise. Leave the, leave the viewer something to put back in. I'm going to do some more texture on here. Right, uh, let's uh, go into these, uh, these things here now. Uh, right, uh, so it's, it's awesome colour, so we'll... Uh, Sort of poplars, are not they? These poplars, are huh? Poplars. But we'll do a more traditional one here. Let that dry off a little bit. Usually do these sort of poplars, but now this is a sort of silhouette. It's so sort of a sketch, like a Saturday morning sketch. Let's get those on those anchored to there. And we want to put in some trees and stuff on there, so. some in across there as well. Look how fiddly you can do this. <coughs> okay, that's it. Right, now I'm going to put in some bit of reflection. There's a lovely dry brush. Put in some some of that dark bit there.
put a bit of green in there on the poplars as well because I'm sure you do get a bit of green on there. Right, let's just okay. Well, I'm going to put in some texture now. I'll, go, um, I'll use I'll use this brush. I won't change it. I've got a nice, nice warm dry brush. See the lights shining out. Well, we haven't used the rigger yet. Right, let's put a bit of dark in there now. Shadow. Right, well I'm going to put that in the mount. Not a great picture is it, but uh, I was going to do a line and wash, but I thought I could. Well it is a sort of a line and wash, isn't it? It's got some line on it. Just wet my brush and keep it nice and moist. I'll put it in the mount and we'll, we'll have a look. It's, uh, it's good to try to do quick things, make quick uh, impressions. Let's put the put that down on it. Okay. Well there we are, it's a sort of a simple Kent scene, type of scene. Let's bring you around. I think the uh, I maybe could make a little bit more of the reflection there of these poplars, sort of poplars anyway. That'll do. All the elements are there, we've got a bit of a fence, we've got those run down barns, we've got some distance and further distance. That's not very clear there, so it probably needs a bit bit more. There, oh, no more, no more. There comes a time where you, anything more will just ruin it if it's not really ruined. I think I'll, I'll do a line and wash next. <coughs> Thanks for watching. I hope, hope you enjoyed that little uh, jaunt into the wilds of Kent. Well, my idea of it anyway. The view doesn't exist. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.